we've been um, uh, most of my research was focusing on uh, uh, liquid biopsy uh, so you know uh, liquid biopsy it has uh, a promising uh, uh, a promising um, uh, results for uh, uh, cancer biomarkers and cancer research. So, um, head neck uh, cancer is uh, among the uh, among the the, the, the hard uh, cancer to be managed. So, if we find uh, a tool uh, that we can uh, uh, we can uh, manage and uh, 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 diagnose the cancer, the head neck cancer earlier, we'll have uh, uh, will. Uh, Really impact the uh, the patient's outcome for head neck cancer. So it's hard to be screening screened earlier, and it's uh, hard to be diagnosed. So we think it's liquid biopsy. It's invasive, uh, cheap, and uh, um, uh, and informative uh, uh, tools. Uh, to detect the cancer and uh, to manage the cancer uh, uh, through the uh, 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 through the, through the treatment. So we first tried to uh, to uh, collect uh, samples, specimen from uh, head neck different stage head neck cancers, and we we tried to uh, we tried to compare what we get from blood to what we get from saliva. As you know, it's uh, head neck tumors are most likely located in the head and neck area. So we want to see if the saliva will carry uh, um, more uh, informative uh, um, biomarkers that might, uh, 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 might carry more informative biomarkers that uh, reflect the real tumor. So as you know, if to get saliva from head neck cancer, it's easier to get blood. So, um, and uh, our data showed there is uh, uh, there is uh, there is promising results. We it's just small uh, study, so but we've been able to see like uh, um, biomarkers in saliva are more ref uh, reflect more the real tumor as well as exosomes have uh, uh, more. Uh, uh, has more uh, impactful or more uh, uh, cancer-related biomarkers than uh, uh, cell-free uh, DNA.